Reverend Nio Inoue has been made official and it will happen in Japan. And uh, so I'm going to react to this video. Nayoya the Monster Inoue vs Paul Butler, A Closer Look. And this video is by Fight Club and I really hope they don't mind me reacting to their video. A few weeks back Let's in go. Saitama, Japan, we saw the difference between a fighter three years better and a fighter three years older. So this video was uploaded a month ago. But it was just the other day where uh, Paul Butler and Inoue, you know, was made official. That seemed an inevitable conclusion only once it became a reality. And it was perhaps all the more shocking because the last time the two had met, they had been so perfectly matched. Back then, in November 2019, Inoue had been forced by Donaire to go the full 12 rounds for the second time as a pro and had, in the process of being pushed harder by the Filipino than anyone before or since, lost both exchanges and rounds. Great punch as well. One of the best fights I've seen. I've enjoyed this. I really have. It's been amazing. And hats off to both fights. Fantastic stuff. Well, they go toe to toe to the final bell. Smiles all round. So, so much better than any fan could have predicted. This time, however. The rematch was a markedly different proposition. It was, it this was. Time, as early as round one, Inoue found his range to devastating effect, dropping Donaire towards the end of the round with what Donaire would later describe as the hardest shot he had ever received as a pro. At that point, the writing was just complete the domination. This one was struggling to make it to the bell, which thankfully for him was just around the corner, was now fighting purely on instinct and was, in round two, eventually punished by Inoue in vicious style. Always sad to see a legend uh, go out like that, though. That brought a premature end to both the fight and the rivalry. It also had Donaire wondering what he could have done differently, and many others wondering. With Donaire now consigned to Inoue's past, who has the ability to come along and tame Inoue in a time when he appears to be gathering more and more momentum and producing more in the way of fear? Indeed, as time goes on and Inoue's title defenses rack up, it's becoming harder and harder to see someone match Donaire's performance against Inoue in 2019. Never mind actually get the better of him and to punish the Japanese star's unbeaten record. He looks, for now, too strong. Too fast and too powerful for the men in and around him. Scarier than that, he also looks to be improving, growing, and maturing. He looks at good the body age function. of 49 to be entering his athletic prime. A prime his rival's prey will be short. Oh, big right hand from Maloney and Inoue. Maloney is down and hurt. It's over. It is over. Naoya the monster Inoue on Halloween night knocks out Jason Mayhem. Likely come a time when Inoue beats his match, both physically and stylistically, and we will know It might come in higher weight categories, though. But until that day arrives, like, you know, move up to featherweight, maybe. And we must watch with awe as he continues to further enhance his already Hall of Fame-worthy career. Funnily enough, Inoue's next opponent, Paul Butler, could perhaps be his... Paul Butler, a two-time world champion. After all, Inoue was already in possession of the IBF and WBA title. Just needs one more bell, the WBO. Added the WBC belt held by Donaire to his collection. That means only one major belt is left for Inoue in his pursuit of becoming undisputed. And while most believe Inoue's final opponent at Phantom Lake would be against longtime rival John Riel Casamero. Yeah, people really want to see that, don't they? Over the past few months, Paul Butler has... It's a shame that Casamero doesn't have the WBO belt in a way, though. Casamero was forced out of the WBO title defense at late notice. Casamero was struck down by a mysterious stomach ailment last that, December, that what was? curtailing their first scheduled meeting in Dubai. The Filipino puncher was given a reprieve as the two were scheduled to lock horns last month. However, Casamero was pulled out of the fight due to a medical violation. Damn. Thankfully, Jonas Sultan had been drafted as a potential replacement by the promoter. Casamero's country had been training for several weeks on the off chance that his services would be required in Liverpool, England. As it turned out, they were. Butler was able to outbox Sultan and picked up the WBO interim bantamweight title on April 22nd. The full championship status was up in the air on 
until the WBO made the ruling to strip Casamero and upgrade the Englishman to full world title holder. Obviously, everyone knows the story behind Casamero. Uh, he's not. He's not a true professional. He's just a bad. While Jesus Butler would be up against him, he was actually giddy with anticipation, watching Naoya Inoue terrorize Donaire. He, he is a complete fighter, like he said. He's one of the best I've seen in 20, 30 years. But listen. He's got to test yourself against the best sometimes, and I'll look back on my career and I can say I won two world titles, got in there with, in the way, you can challenge yourself to the best. That's the true. Win, it's it's admirable. The British boxer was actually overly impressed by the Japanese champion's performance. He kind of reminds me of like Tony Bellew, uh, the build up to his fight with Usyk. did not stop the 33 year old Ellesmere Port native from shying away from issuing a challenge. To perhaps the hardest punching fighter south of 140 pounds the sport has seen in a generation or two. Joe Gallagher's trainer, veteran trainer. Butler understands that Trent anyway, Smith Rose. Well, you know, I think just Liam at the moment. Conquerors, Emmanuel Rodriguez was blasted out by Inouye in only two rounds back in 2019. Good performance. Oh, this is unbelievable. But still, the next logical step for him is to fight Butler for all the belts, especially considering happen. what can happen next. People want to see an undisputed champion old, in every weight class, I think, don't they? It just makes boxing more simple, Butler, though. Just one world champion. Even more special than he already is. The super bantamweight division. One division above the one Inoue currently competes yeah. in is How would he very do that? strong and has two unified champions. There are potentially great bouts there against WBA mm. and See, that, that will be really interesting. Maybe even more interesting than this upcoming fight, actually. Champion, Stephen Fulton. If Osmodolia and Fulton fight to unify at 122, it would set up a potential fight with Inoue mm. as undisputed champion. That and that will be a tough test as well, going to a new weight division. But you can't look past Butler, you know, you can't afford to look past people, can you? No fighter in the four belt era has ever been undisputed champion in two weight classes. God. But with Inoue one win tough. away from claiming all the phantom weight belts, Inoue could be on track to do just that next year. Of and on paper he should be able to move up because he's such a big puncher in this division. You know, who's to say he can't carry his power into the super belt right now? titles at light flyweight, super flyweight, and bantamweight will be favored to get the job done. He will be a big favorite. In routine fashion, in a way, has now transcended who he fights. To put it simply, it doesn't really matter who he fights next. In a way, is a monster who is but CTV. At this his point in his career, I think we all expect him to win. Is a privilege to watch, and incredibly, he's only getting better. And with all the titles at stake. NOA Butler will not only be in an explosive and fun matchup for NOA for as long as it lasts, but also an important one. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to that for I might have to renew my subscription to the zone because I, I believe it will be on there. And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that, you know, and I hope Inuay actually does come through because I want to see those interesting Super Bantamweight matchups next. Like, you know, against the Stephen Fulton, that kind of type. And uh, thanks for watching, I really appreciate it.